So then after this, we get uh, to C9. We didn't want to take a break. We're like, yo, let's just queue it up. All right, let's see. Guys, so here we are. You fight Cloud9. We just saw yesterday that Method NA, the team that won today, beat Cloud9 playing RPS. So it's like, okay, we play RPS, which means we can win. And we wore game Cloud9 for like an hour plus. We won like majority of the games. So we didn't know what they were going to play, but they picked the classic bread and butter Mage Lock Druid. Has anyone ever seen Cloud9 play Mage Lock Healer before? Is, is that something that anyone's ever seen before? Um, they're going back to their roots. Uh, it's going it's different. Like it's different. Everybody's playing mains yeah. Today. Yeah. It was funny. Every, every it's funny because uh, what he just said was everyone's playing mains. Every, no one has logged on retail or queued a retail game in a very long time. So everyone just decided, you know what? Like fuck it, we're just gonna play our main classes and just try to queue and see what happens. So I'm gonna put my camera here because Chan's camera's on the left side. Should we look at Carl or Chan? Let's look at let's look at Chan's face. Let's see what Chan's thinking. All right, so we got the basic game plan versus Cloud9. I mean, so, I mean, if you're in the situation, like, what are you guys probably fucking thinking? Because I'm thinking, I don't know what the fuck I'm thinking. We're all sitting here as a team. We're like, well, I mean, you know, if we just don't die and we go between the lock and the mage, you know, maybe we can, you know, make it happen and kill them and everything. And it's hard, and it's hard to, to review Cloud9 games because Cloud9 games are a lot of line of sighting and a lot of doing nothing and just trying to slowly rot them down into other nothingness. Kind of, you know, taking away their stamina and souls. And this game was long as fuck, too. What is going on here? Let's skip to like 10 minutes in. So here we are. We're at 9 minutes into the game. We're at 26% dampening. I mean, we look at our cooldowns. We're getting tapped out. We look at their cooldowns. They're getting tapped out. Chanimal, he's lost all of his hair in the middle of the match. I don't know what happened, but I mean... Cubsy, you know, he's always getting drinks the whole game. Oh, yeah! Yo, first game... Carl got the talent bug, so we had no earthen totem the entire game. The first game we fought from or we fought versus them. So yeah, he had no uh, earthen totem. So we're trying to go. Yo, I'm gonna drop some serious logic right now. All right, when you fight a team as tough as Cloud Nine, a lot of this shit you gotta like think about. I don't know if this seems obvious, but if you would think, if you are in super deep dampening, would you attack the warlock or the mage? Who who would theoretically be the better target to go in super deep dampening, warlock or mage? Okay, so like someone says mage, some say lock, so, so so it's both. So basically, here's the explanation for why we think what we do. So when you're fighting mage lock, especially in super deep dampening, well, first of all, mages have more mobility than locks technically, and they have ice blocks, and they can stall longer. But the main reason why you always go warlock in deep dampening is because of this. Warlocks, all they can do is fear you. But a mage, all they can do to peel is sheep you. So fear can still kill you because you're taking damage in fear and it's like fucking things up. But if a mage sheeps you, it removes all your dots and the sheep heals you and it makes it so they can't kill you as fast because they're healing you from the sheeps, right? So you would realistically want to train the warlock because all the mage can do to stop anything is try to sheep somebody which, if you're trying to kill someone, sheeping them does not help that at all. That's why you would do that. And then eventually you can also catch the Warlock because he has less ways to get out than a mage with all these blinks and all the time and Novas and shit. So, it's the fear versus sheep. That's why you decide to go Warlock. Because sheeps he remove all the Warlock thoughts, heal you up in dampening too when everyone's oom and shit. So, yeah, big deal. That's why. So, no one got it in chat, but that's why. So, Oh yeah, Zach got it. There it is. So we're on this guy. Sheep regen is slowed and dampening, yes. But it still heals you. Fear never heals you ever. So Chan's cutting us out here. We're like, do we go mage? We couldn't tell when he had ice block back. Chan was lining me for the last like 15 seconds here. But I was able to step his pet and get a kitty back here. And Cubsy's over in Beijing on the other side of the pill here across the border. So he was so far away that I was like, yo, we got to fucking do something here. stepping in for the kill. Vendetta available in one more second. They got through dark pack. I throw a blind out. Got a trinket. Vendetta is available here. Channel debating holding blind for like a mage or something. Mage that trinket too. Trying to get back to so at this point, we're like, fuck it, just gun him down. Yeah, this is sketchy. I flash craft, get full value out of it. I walk him down. I walk his ass down. That's right, Chan. I'm coming for you, baby. He gets on the pillar again. Get the step kidney on him. We get wall. Or no, we get something. Yeah, we wall. We wall or something. He has wall. Maniac! Think the 10 gifted subs, baby. He tries the night fair away. Ports back. 
And now we're like, fuck, do we hit mage? Like, do we keep chasing? What do we do? That was insane positioning by Channel to survive throughout that threat, but now they're swapping a wealthy man. Big heal has to come with like 20 Thank you, Maniac. 10 gifted. So we get over here. I'm back on him. Thorns is up. I don't want to do too much damage because the Thorns is killing me. Trying to resell here. Don't get it. No, but. They just don't have any damage out whatsoever. So he ports. Dying once again. He's behind the pillar. He's brought him down. And at this point, I don't have like, I don't want to use Trinket or Cloak offensively. Because if you use Trinket and Cloak offensively here, like, it might look like you can kill them. Which, on the off chance, maybe every one, one out of a thousand fucking games, you'll kill someone by Trinketing and Cloaking offensively. But it's also an instant way of just throwing the game and dying. Yeah. So here we go. So I said this. Off this. Wiz K fades Chanimal's Coil. So Wizcase starts the sequence, he fades the coil, fades coil, then off the Nova, I'm sitting there, I have Trinket and Cloak available, and then Wiz grips me, and then as the mage is casting Sheep, I think I range him because mid-grip I'm able to step Chanimal and kidney him. So I think I range the Sheep on that when that happened. And then we get there, and then I trick it offensively finally in this sheep because he's like, he's so fucking low, and he, this is when he walls, and he's at 9k health or something. Yeah, dirty. He's at poly too, yeah. Yeah, Wiz K literally. Wait, what did he do here? He, So Wiz fades coil, which stops the mortal coil healing and the CC. Oh no, the poly's. Yeah, so he deaths the poly there. And then the last sheep's on me. I ranged the last sheep, I think. Oh no, it gets me, it gets me, but I got it before I you know I got there first. Thank fucking god. So So Wiz K faded Mortal Coil, Death Polly, and then got me there. Fades Mortal Coil, grips me, Death Polly. I get the kidney on him, and he's so low at this point, and he gets a silence somehow too in there. Yeah, and then he dies. Yeah, mage lock ain't it. Let's channel thinking. What do you think about Shan? What's he scratching, man? What's he scratching? You know, what's going on here? So we win this, and then we get to the next game. So they queue Turbo Cleave. Uh, we knew they would switch comps because, like, why would they do that again? Here's the game plan versus Turbo Cleave. Here's what I think happened. I've already been drinking a little bit, but this is what I remember. Okay, we want to run in and sap the Paladin, kidney the Shaman, and just go. We're killing the Shaman the entire game. That's what we're doing. I'm pretty sure. So I'm like, yo, sit back. I'm going to sprint in. I'm going to go. I thought we were going to say the same thing. So we got a sap full kidney. I mean, best start ever. Love that. But not close enough. They're starting it off with crowd control and Cubsy. Sap, wealthy man, the main target. He's on the run behind the pillar. Cubsy trinket. How long is this game? Snuts is going into battle stance, trying to get aggressive, but Cyphiend is out. Which case? Pretty quick game. Power infusion. Wealthy man's bolt. Channel was trying to get into his raid. Golden Guardians man are on a tear right now. Okay, we good. Oh yeah, they almost they almost kill me kind of quickly. Are they gonna be able to make it through this situation? Pre healing tide totem comes down. Wealthy man has not been above fifty percent health. Bomb this. The whole game. Got his trinket there. Wealthy man trinkets to get out of the smoke bomb. He just wants to connect onto the shatter priest. Start doing some damage. He's or master hex. Gets a full hex. I think I have Asian here or something. And this needs to be their moment. Yeah, evasion, yep. Trinket evasion. Kind of scary. They got a lot of my cooldowns. But they use everything, so. Because yeah, we're basically a lot of it is just trying to kill the shaman. Oh, fuck. Wait, there's actually a lot of crazy shit in this game because of the mind controls. I forgot about the mind controls. Okay, we'll look at the very end of the game because this is the most important part. This is like crazy. So basically... Wait, let's see. So we get to here. Carl is full feared. I have cloak up. I've indebted Wilkie Man offensively. I've got no trinket, no evasion, and no vanish. Because I used vanish offensively to try to grow up the shaman to get a fear earlier. And when you have no trinket, evasion, or cloak, you're actually a huge fucking kill target versus turbo. Well, the man trinket tremors the fear on Cubsy. Triple fear by Snuts. Snuts yeah, big fear. I get a flush craft. I get a kick mid flush craft. They pummel it, but did he immune the stun? No. Then I get storm bolted and whiz mind controls here. And lands it on, I think, Wealthy Man. So he mind controls Wealthy Man during the Paladin's wings. And they have no cooldowns either. But it's scarier for us in this case than them. Because, uh, you know, Warrior Enhance can just fucking kill you at any point. So we get a mind control here. It sits full. I got a lot of pre-faints on Stormbolt too this uh, series too. So we got that. And I was like, 
I'm screaming at Wiz. I'm like, dude, where the fuck is the shaman? Where is he? I can't even see him. Because he had a, when someone's mind controlled, they show up as like a friendly. So I didn't know if he was like behind the pillar or anything, but he's like, okay, he's right on top of you. He's right on top of you. So we got that. I got five combo points. I disarmed Warrior on his Warbreaker here because he just used it, as we can see. And then off this, I Kenny Shaw. So we Kenny Shaw. And then Carl somehow was able to hex Cubsy here. So this is crazy. Carl positioned properly enough to fucking hex a Paladin out of no CC, let alone it be Cubsy. Because he got caught against the fucking floorboards. So that was insane. We get mind control on the rest of wings to full kidney into hex paladin restun off the kidney rallying cry too and shackle as well yeah so that last sequence mind control to full hex to full kidney to restun from whiz into shackles and then they die so that was crazy that he got that and they couldn't stop it and then the last game here they play, uh, they switch to God Comp. We figured they were going to play God Comp because they wanted to just play new comp, you know? So we get to here, and it's like, game plan is probably just go Priest all game. Train Priest and try to not die. Maybe go Mage sometimes. We'll see. I mean, yeah, if you're a Cloud9 fan, they're going to need your energy right now. Cubsy, Snuts, and Wealthy Man coming in with that Shadow Priest, Mage, Rest. So I sat Priest so Wiz can move in and can dot him, and then I go for the full Kenny. I'm looking at Blind Druid early, I believe, too. Golden Guardians, which they are playing I actually game. tried to, uh... So yeah, Gordy kind of shit on me here. Like, so uh, he was DB sheeping Carl, and I was like, "Oh shit, okay." I guess Kenny dog this guy. I may as well try to step kick Wealthy Man, because I'm lining the mage. He's not touching me, so I get my dots here, and I move left, and he DBs and goes to the sheep. But the time I step him, he blinks the same time, so I can't stop the first sheep because I try to step kick this right here. On point. Yeah. So we got sheeped, and it was like, well, at least I tried. You know what I'm saying? At least I went. At least I went for the play. You know what I mean? Right. So. Dot him up, get a stun here. Insane, and so far they're leading the charge in game number three. Both men tries to swing the tide with a combustion early pop here. But he's not finding any damage just yet on the WizK. WizK's loading up a voider. Here we'll skip towards the end because this game's kind of long. So we're like, we're in this situation where we have no trinket, no spirit link, we have no disperse, no fade. We're not playing lice off. We're playing fast and D, and I got no trinket and cloak, and they have a lot of shit to work with. This is a pretty scary spot to be in. Uh, but we have Wealthy Man with no blocks and shit, right? No caught. So here, when you're at this point in like a tournament game, you want to look at it and be like, okay, all we have to do at this point is just not fucking die. So you don't want to run in and just try to get over aggressive when you have no cooldowns to back it up. So we kind of have to slow the game down, especially when they have a cooldown advantage here. So, Kitty here on the Wealthy Man again. This is when I start kind of pulling back a little bit. So once he blinks here, I make the decision to realize that, okay, we obviously cannot pursue the kill because we got Iron Bark and shit and we have nothing to work with. So you just run back here in line of sight. Yeah, and then Snuts runs in here. So I thought they were going to try to kill me right here because I've got no trick. I thought maybe Cubsy was going to run in and try to bash and Snuts wanted to double fear us. So we see this. So we just avoid the double fear by just kind of sitting back for a second. So he tries to get double fear, realizes he can't get it. I get a restealth here. And then I open, I double groat here, which maybe, I mean, this is fine. I groat the mage and the priest here. Two for one value on a re, pretty good. And then again, again, we still have no cooldowns. So the, the smart thing to do is you just run back because I flesh crapped up. That's my last cooldown available. And we have Vendetta up too, and blind. Yeah, so we see the danger because we're in the open. It's like, okay, we got to run back again. Run back to pillar. And he mind gazed me too. So yeah, I pressed evasion because I thought Cubsy was going to come stun me there. And he, I think he tried to actually. Yeah, so right here, when I get the double groat, I see Cubsy coming in. He gets kicked on clone. And he wants to stun. And then I evasion right here. Otherwise, he would have maybe tried to bash me or something. So I get the evasion up. So he can't do anything. He can't maim me. Maybe I dodged it. I don't know. And then back by the pillar, the only thing I can do at this point is Fleshcraft his back, which means my Battlemaster's back. So I Battlemaster Fleshcraft, and then we fucking send it. Bam, Fleshcraft. Think I reself and go. MDs, and they're fucked here. So we get Step, step Garot into full kidney. I have Vendetta as well, and I'm running at Cubsy to blind him with my Sprint Step here. And then, luckily for us, Wiz gets the silence on Cubsy, and he trinkets into blind. So he insta trinkets the silence into full blind right here. I think he was trying to trinket the blind as fast as possible, but luckily the timing worked out for us and the mage is still stuck in kidney with Vendetta on him too. 
And I, I might have had Fleshcraft immunity as well, so I don't think I was even like really stoppable. Wealthy man in the most trouble. This kid is a full blind. And Snuff tries to grip Wealthy Man, but we seed him first. The oh. And then we kill the seed over here. Got it. His bash on CD? No, he mains. Like, there's bash and main. There's two stuns that Druids have. Also, they can, I think, uh, I don't know if he's playing rake stun, but yeah, basically there's two stuns that you can do. So yeah, we got it right there in that sequence. And that's how we get the series win. Yep. And that's how it is. Yeah, because if he stuns me here, I mean, like, look at it. Like, so we're right here. Mage has combust in 10. Six seconds he has combust. What he has combust. So I stopped the ring here off this. So if I get stunned right here, the only thing that can save us is like, there's like nothing. Maybe maybe Wiz can grip me line of sight and then I'm fucking 50 yards from Carl. If I get if I get four seconds stunned right here, Mage has combust. This guy's got mind games and shit and siphoned. Like that's, that's pretty, and no grounding to stop it. And this guy can't kick anything. He's a hundred yards away, right? And Wiz is over here on this side of the pillar. Unless Wiz can maybe grip me out of here, but if I get stunned right here, that's pretty fucking, I think, I think I'm like dead. Because then, the second they build pressure, they instantly all three collapse on us, right? Because why would they run away if they're going to kill us here? But I evaded it, because I think he was trying to build combo points too, so he gave me like a global to do it. Otherwise, you know, we're fucked here, right? Yeah, so that could have been really bad. That could have been a, a game losing play right there. So, that's how it is. And then we got it. We won one game in the finals, but we got second place. Like, if I look at it right now, should we look at the one game we won? So we lost we lost two games. And then we queued Dalaran. So we queued Thug Cleave because we're like, you know, you know what, fuck it. We're going to try Thug Cleave right now. And our plan was just to run in and kill the monk. So we actually planned out the opener so fucking big. I was like, here we go. I'm going to run in. I'm going to sap the monk. Then I'm going to cheap shot Pally. You have to trap Pally, and we have to not get double Dragon's Breath. That's the opener. Sap Monk, Stun Pally, don't get double DB'd, land trap off that, blind off the trap, and keep killing the Monk. Right? It's going to be a lot of pressure. If they get CC on Brain and they get Drake and Stuns, that's a recipe for success. The reason why you Sap Monk at the start is so we can't Fort Brew before you open. Um, it's just about how and it gets everyone in position. And then, yeah, oh my god, I'm like right here, I talk about the game plan five fucking times, and our coach is like, our coach is like, Yo, don't you want to break the Fleshcraft? And it was like, Joey, shut the fuck up. What are you talking about? We just had this whole game plan. Marty sprinted in. We're already in here. If we wait any longer, they're all going to be in combat. It was like, it was like, why would he say it right now instead of in the starting gates for, you know what I mean? Right here. He's like, wait, do you want to break Fleshcraft? And it was like, what do you mean break Fleshcraft? What? I'm already here. Fuck you. Yeah, Joey, idiot. All right. We get it right here. Yeah, he says it like right. He said it like right before, and it's like, dude, what the fuck are you talking about, Joey? So this guy runs in, Molly, they've had six months, so I sap this guy, and then I get the cheap shot on Pally, and then I mark for that Kenny Drake and Vendetta instantly. Yep. Try to get full bleach, trying to do as much as I can. We broke his flesh calf, he's in trouble. I think I blind off the trap here. Yep, blind off the trap. I was holding my vanish to reset because we need that for like a. Like a better setup because we're not going to kill him in the first five seconds, obviously. So we save vantage for the reset. Yep. They're just training Carl, too. Okay. Full kid on Drake again. Bomb this shit. During an intim sense, we intim sense, we kitty bomb, he trinkets out, and we trap. So we got trap off DR instantly, and the monk's on the run right now. We get Karma here. I think this is when I decide to go for the resaps because this guy Karma and he's trying to run away. So I gotta make sure I don't get Dragon's Breath by Sarai here when I vanish because he does that all the time. So I vanish out. I sap him. Resap. Into one more sap. And then here at this point, I see the monk is gonna try to heal himself with Vivify. So here, I believe I go Grote. I Grote off the last sap. I kick Sheep and then I Grote the monk as well. So I Grote, kick that Sheep and Grote him too. I should have maybe held step, but then we get trinket sack. We get sack or sack sack off the silence, not trinket, but we got sack there. So sack is finally going to connect. They have an insane pressure here, but upstairs the next time they connect. And he's running. Could be lights out here. They just need to paralyze. Try to keep the pressure on him. We've seen it so many times, and they do. Oh, this sucked. Right here, I thought we might have just won the game. I cheap shot this guy because trap was about to be off dr, and he actually flush got to my kidney. So I should have actually. Like, I don't know if this would have even been good if it landed, but... So I vanish here, cheap this guy, because Trap's about to come off DR. 
But then he flush grabs Kenny. That was on a full Kenny in the back here alone with me and Carl. So I Kenny in a flush grab, and then I kicked him afterwards. That sucked. They try to continue the chain here once again onto Drake. Is the fury to parry potential kidney hammers? Okay, we got Bob too. Yeah, so Carl fucking links here. We're getting literally triple killed. Look at look at how much damage we're taking from the monk. So our HP like right here before, and then I flesh crapped in the link too. Oh, that's it. I flesh crapped. I, I ate the mage CS. Mage CS is me. And then look at like our HP in this fucking spirit link from one spinning crank kick. And combust. The whole team is just dying. That's going to be even more cooldowns coming out from App Surge. That so we get out of this. Last CD and it's Albert's head. Yeah, but he stayed alive. If Peekaboo and Jelly Beans can kill So I have Kitty Shot available at this point, but I'm like waiting because I'm like, okay, I need to not Kitty until we actually get a setup. So I'm disarmed off this. They're so close, but Drake is just right. The Paladin Freedom ends, so I slow the Paladin here with a Poison Knife. We get a pet stun here. Usually in a pet stun like this, this is when Drake would usually always know to port, but he like didn't port this time. So then off the disarm, we get the, we get the trap stun in the full trap. And I get the full kidney, and I vendetta him right here. Pally bubbles to try to save him, but at this point, he just has nothing left. We kill him. Golden Guardians have broken the curse. Yep. They put a point on the board, and it's off the backs of Peekaboo and Jelly Beans coming together. Yep. First time we beat these guys in like the last 16 times we played them. We used to actually be able to go toe to toe with these guys, if you guys remember. But Monk Mage became so fucking good that it's like, wow. Yeah, this is an unwinnable matchup now. So that's how we killed him as Thug Cleave our first game, and then we lost every other game. But basically, that's how it all went. So, so that's, that's how it was. But we got second place. Secured way more prize money than I ever thought, and that's just fucking amazing. And seriously, massive, massive shout out to you all for cheering us on, sticking with us, man. It's been a wild, wild season. Lots of back and forth, lots of all over the place and uncertainty, but we actually locked it in and made that shit happen, all right?